Today is two days before the first anniversary of the worst storm and the worst government in the history of this country. Hurricane Doreen and the next storm called the Hubert Minutes Administration. To date, it's the 30th on Tuesday in two days would be the first anniversary. You see, I lost my mother in the storm, so it will never be the same for Kai Mills. While people want to tell me how to act, think, and talk, I too could have been among the 2,000 that disappear. I, Kai Mills, could have been in the trailer for nine months until this white nothing FNM government decide to bury Kai Mills. But I'm here for a short time. Short time, I shall make a difference. I'm here and I'm all about change. And I'm so proud that I've opened a conversation this week on Haitians in the Bahamas, not Bahamians. I am running for Bahamians. And I had to tell my brother that was born at a, as a British subject like me, born with a passport um, of Haitian parents, but through his citizenship, he got his parents' citizenship. So they are both on board as Bahamian. And I want to let him, I had to let him know, you don't tell me what to think in this country. You don't tell me what to feel. Every illegal ought to be gone back a long time, especially after Dorian. I want to let the world know that enough is enough as far as Kai Mills is concerned. You see, the Bohemians can't breathe because the the knees of the Haitian migrants is on every line 50 deep before Bahamians. We want the Haitian migrants to take their knees off the Bahamian necks so that they can be first in line at the grocery store in Abaco, first in line at Commonwealth Bank. We're talking about illegals are in line at social service before Bahamian. Every aspect of Abaconian life, illegals are first in line. And Kai just want to say, please, take your knees off of the necks of the Bahamian economy so that we could breathe. I'm saying to my Haitian brothers and sisters, not Bahamians, I'm talking about Haitians. Could you please take your necks off of the Bohemian economy? Could you please take your neck off of your knees off the necks of social service so the social service could be for Bohemian, which it was created for? Our social service was never created for Haitian. It was created for Bohemians. Take your knees off the necks of our social service. Take your knees off the neck of the immigration department that we don't have to be repatriating in the millions of dollars. Look all the millions that the government have spent to send you all back home and you continue to keep your knees on the necks of the immigration department that you're bleeding them into poverty. That's all Kai saying. I speak only for Bohemians. Every line you go to, whenever you are in a country and every aspect of your life, there is more Haitians than Bohemians. It is time for the officials, the government, to take the knees of the illegal Haitians off the necks of Bohemians because we can't Dug on it, breathe, man. You're all killing and strangulating us. That's how I feel. Every aspect. You go on the ferry in the morning, there is 
80, 90 to 10 Bohemians. We can't breathe. We got a fella got a project there, multi-million dollar prop property at Elbow Key. He can't breathe because the Haitians strangulating and stopping his project. Man, let the man breathe so he could bring some economics into Abaco. I can't breathe for the traffic. They trying to strangulate me because I speak for Bohemians. <laughs> I just want. I told my friend that that um, live across to me. I said, remember when you were born? We had one Haitian in Abaco Central High. God, I can't remember his name. It's even close to Freddie Jones. That's Freddie Jones' best friend. Boy, but he was aggressive. He's the only one in my high school. Everybody else went to St. Francis de Sales. They, they sent them all to college. The, 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 the caucus school was, was prejudiced. You're talking about racist. All y'all that got a scholarship from the Cochrane School know that that school was racist against Bohemian. They felt that Bohemians could pay college. They carry all the Haitians and put them to college. We couldn't go. Even now, even now after Hurricane Dorian, all the NGOs make sure look out for Haitians in Abaco. They don't really care about Bohemians. They a matter of fact, they don't even think that Bohemian poor people exist. The Haitian got a strangle that we can't even get any donations from the NGOs. I remember the food giveaway at, at Maxwell, $1,500. Boy, that's some groceries. But there were 50 Haitian with Haitian passport. I did my own work, I checked and they got a strangle that we can't even breathe to get a free vulture to get some free food. I'm gonna rest on this Haitian situation, but I have awakened the conscience of both Haitians and Bohemians. And my friend dare tell me that the Haitians have a problem with my video because they don't feel that the Bahamian is treating them fairly. Well, what about me as a 10th generation Abaconian? What do I supposed to feel when you got me all choked up that I can't do a video? Y'all got y'all, 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 y'all thanks in me on, on Facebook because I speak. Well, if I cannot speak to issues, why am I running? The issue after Hurricane Doreen and Abaco is the illegal. There are too many. And they have the knees on the neck of Bohemians. Bohemians can't even go in line. Bohemians go in line and Bohemians are not aggressive because we're not born in poverty. We understand everybody that comes from poverty is more aggressive. But give us a chance, man and our beloved Abaco. That's what I'm saying to my, my Haitian uh, uh, friends. Not, not no Haitian Bohemians. Anybody that has a Bohemian passport could do as much as they can. And you imagine them want to get mad with Kai Mills because I did a video of can breeding in my country. I wonder if they could use what we call reverse psychology and let the Bohemian popular go in Haiti and become more aggressive than the Haitian and in every line at the hospital at social service at immigration at the grocery stores at the bank at the gas station how would they feel let me breathe in my town there was a time I look at Murphy Town <laughs> boy I smile when I go on at Murphy Town I remember LG Reckley those LG Reckley those oh, all the boys gonna die out now LG Reckley probably is the one of the strongest one remaining that when the Haitians turn the bend the bend at the clinic in Murphy Town they ask them what do you want get out of Murphy Town 
I hey, she couldn't spend the night Murphy down. <laughs> and I laughed. <laughs> I said, boy, has time changed? The young fellas smoking dope and drinking rum and they got overrun. Let Kai breathe in Abaco. Can I ride down the road and see 10 indigenous bohemian? I haven't seen that in over 10 years. There's no bohemians on the streets. I don't recognize any. Where are we? We have become a, an extinct breed. We're becoming non-existent. What about my culture, my language? And when they get in talk and they're working and they're speaking Creole to you, you imagine they're speaking Creole to you in Abaco? Like the hell with you, you learn that. But I'm in Abaco. I can't find Abaconians at the front line anymore. What gonna happen to my generation after me? Are we gonna be a French colony? We're that close. So please, immigration, come and take the knees of the Haitian populace off the throat of Kai Mills and Abaco so we can breathe, man. We can't breathe. Bohemian breath is becoming extinct. Like a dinosaur, we're going because the government and the services have used the Haitian populace to enrich their greedy lives. And the Haitians are smart, don't never say they're stupid. They have taken advantage of the gutlessness and the weightlessness of the immigration social service and all these people that use them, the contracted workers, all the workers that have used the Haitian, now they have created this problem that we cannot breathe in Abaco without having a Haitian first in line to and everything. I am running for Bahamians. Anybody got the blue passport? I am not offending. I'm speaking to the, an issue that's becoming a vexation to all Bahamians, whether they say it or not, because they covered Kai is speaking. So rest at ease. Kai can speak to the issues that are affecting Bahamian culture and Bahamian way of life in Abaco. Kai cares and I'm passionate about my culture. My generation is being lost because of the fluctuation of Haitians that has their knees on the my throat that I can't breathe in Abaco. It's a passionate one because I feel it. So I say it. And how dare any Haitian to tell me how to speak in my beloved Abaco, Bahamas. Kai Kiss, official, let Kai and the rest of Abaco and Bahamians breed and send the illegals back, packing, forthwith. Kai Kiss, you're live with Kai on WCAY. Where the hell? It's the immigration officers when we need them. They're invisible in Abaco. Clarence Russell, this one go to you. You know I can say some things, but I can leave that. Deal with you. Do your job, man. Let's see some immigration on the streets of Abaco. Where are they? Why are they missing? Kai Kiss.